Okay, now, revenge is a dish best served, at least lukewarm. So we've given it a bit of time after uh, Serbian glory. But still, Hungary has to die for what they did to us. They went back on their word so many times and in the end were part of what crushed glorious Serbia. So I can't help it, although there are campaigns that I want to be playing right now, which are certainly uh, far to the east of the Berlin Wall. I've got to destroy Hungary. There is no sating my thirst for blood until Hungary is completely wiped off the map and their pathetic culture purged from this earth. So, uh, what better nation to take down Hungary with than Hungary? Just has to be done. All right, how's the starting situation? Mm. Well, uh, like I said, what better nation to bring ourselves down with than uh, using Hungary? The answer might be something a bit different. I don't like any of these guys. Certainly not them. No, the better nation to take them down with is Nitra. Let's go. I've actually had quite a lot of people asking to play Nitra. I have never played as Nitra, so this will be interesting for me as well. Yeah, I could suicide Hungary straight into the ground, but no, let's try and do this at least somewhat legit. I could have also developed these lands with points, but no, that's not how we play around here. We're going to play as Nitra. This has been something that's been asked for quite a while, and frankly, I want to play with them, because look at that relaxing shade of blue. It's just a few tones away from being as relaxing as Sardinia Piemont. Uh, let's see, I know nothing about them, so it doesn't seem like we have any formable nations. And I think I made a mistake all along. When I was saying Serbian glory, it was a mistake. It's Slovakian glory, of course. We have to show that Hungarian is a joke culture and replace it with the glorious Slavic way. We are the greatest Western European nation known to man. Alright, Nitra, what can we do here? Well, not a whole lot, because we start out with a mutual truce with Hungary. We are their subject, and uh, not bad. You get a random roll for your first ruler. He could have been triple zero, he could have been six six six. So I will quite happily take one five five. Goal of this campaign, remove this culture, remove this country. We might stack some additional goals on top of that, but I'm not looking for this to be a uh, 100 video playlist. Uh, campaign. It's going to be kind of funny if you're watching this in the future and it's got like four digit uh, videos for it. But okay, Nitra, what can we do? Well, Hungary have some natural born enemies that we might want to make into our friends. Austria and Poland being the most notable because uh, Hungary, strangely enough, is a natural ally of France. We also want to be getting our points as quickly as possible, because fresh nations spawn with absolutely nothing. Maybe I should uh, change that someday. We have a fort. I don't think we're going to keep that fort, because it's not going to save us from anything that's coming. Plus, it's going to chew into the money that we have. Uh, I kind of like the burgers. I wish they would like me a bit more. So, first off, I'm going to give them this extremely delicious province, which will really give them a lot of influence over our nation. So, there you go, burger kind. Otherwise, nobody gets anything because we're small enough not to need to worry about that. Otherwise, there is the clergy and the nobility, but we shall deal with them in very much due time. Might as well just unpause and chill out for a bit, because we've got five years before we can do absolutely anything. Thagnus pointing a finger saying, this is babby mode, you have a gold mine. I did want to play as one of Hungary's subjects, but the options were... Uh, they were Croatia, who have a ton of cores and loads of development. Transylvania, who had a staggering seven provinces in a really well-defendable uh, terrain. Or Nitra. Were there any others that I just completely blanked out in my head? I don't know, I think Nitra was the uh, tiniest of them all. <laughs> You start with copper and gold mine, Jake. 
You have no problem watching, uh, walking with those crutches. Eh, say what you will, we have what we have. Uh, we have a severe lack of monarch points, so let's try and fix that. Uh, spy network might be handy, will probably be very handy. But probably not as handy as Diplo Rep. I'll build up a spy network on Hungary, but that's a uh, course in the future. And otherwise, production or stability. You know, I don't often cruise with an artist. Why don't we do that just for a change? So, Hungary, what are you doing? Interestingly enough, not allying France. You've got staggering uh, allies in Luca and Ragusa, so I don't think we have to worry about that very much. Krabater switch later on, Jake. What is the Krabater achievement? And do I already have it? Well, I don't see it here, so I'm just going to assume that I do. You start with infantry combat ability, super babby mode is real. Yeah, it's always a good place to start. What are the Slovak ideas? 10% infantry combat ability, 5% lower than the Swedes get, maybe. I can't remember. Uh, extra fort defense, which is so so. Goods produced is amazing. In my mind, it's the best economic idea you can get. Admin tech cost reduction. 0.1 inflation reduction. That's amazing. That is uh, Dutch levels right there. Fort maintenance and garrison. Eh. Infantry cost is great. Unrest is good. Morale and infantry combat ability. I'll take it, even though there's no discipline there, but we can run just fine with nations that don't get discipline bonuses. Putting a stock on, uh, uh, horse on Stockholm. I did that ages ago, so not too shabby at all. You know, once you've done bad ideas, guy, people are just unsatisfied with you until you start out with two broken legs. What you should do is go to the date that the Golden Horde disappears from the map, roll the clock back by one day, and play as those. I'm pretty sure that's what at least some people are thinking. So, Venice getting themselves dragged into war straight away. Uh, I need to start thinking about people uh, who may or may not become my friend. Venice, Poland, and Bohemia. Alright, so forget Austria, it's Bohemia we're probably going to want to go crawling to. 552. Uh, average claim or no? Find that hard to turn down to our everlasting friendship. And I completely clicked by renaming her. Oh well, what's done is done. So it seems that not a lot of people are. I'm going to want to back our independence here, and by not a lot I mean strangely nobody. Uh, lots of people with neutral attitudes towards Hungary. It might be worth spending some time and uh, trying to find somebody who does not like Hungary at all. I mean, the Polish uh, attitude is neutral, but the opinion is pretty low. Uh, Venice really don't like them, so it might be worth seeking support from Venice and I always think Poland and Bohemia are in a good situation to be smashing down in Hungary, but it can be hard to say. Trouble is going to be if they ally Austria, but uh, wouldn't that just always be a problem? There's not really an achievement for us to go for here, I'm just here to crush Hungary. Personal goals, Trump achievements any day of the week. Poland getting the Union, so that's going to be all the more deadly if they decide to ally with Hungary, but let's just hope it doesn't go down that route. We have no army, so no expenses to worry about there. No, we, we don't need a shake-up. Trust me, game, we do not. Alright, well, you know what, burgers... <clears throat> That's a reasonable amount of influence, but I want you to have just a wee touch more. Yeah. That actually wouldn't push us high enough to get anything decent. Unless I also gave them another province. That's too dangerous to do. Ah, forget that. Uh, wouldn't mind that contribution, and I certainly wouldn't mind that to put on. Catch it. And on top of that, I'm just going to kick the burgers out here. And what will we have instead? I think the nobility are due their just rewards. I want to bump them up as high as we can get them. So 
Yeah, can't go wrong with a bit of generalship. Who is generalship? I don't know. And... Hmm, a bit of maths in my head here. Might be able to squeeze an extra 50, but let's not get greedy. I'll take 150 out of you. Lovely. Jake, use your merchants. Hey, that would be a great idea. I almost think I know how this game works. And we can either pull in trade from Krakow or Ragusa. I think we'll settle on Krakow here. Bring it all back to us. <clears throat> Probably none too shabby. Yeah, fair enough, the disaster wants to come rolling in. We don't need to get our stability up either, which is lovely, because we're going to be tanking a minus three when we declare for our independence anyway. Uh, speaking of that, sure would be nice if anybody hated uh, Hungary right now. Hungary's still friendly with Austria, which does concern me just a little bit. And since they... Um, <clears throat> They do have an extra dip slot for it, so I'm just hoping they don't go down that route. They've got their amazing regent as well. Mm, pretty bad. I need him to fall out with somebody. There are the Ottomans, of course. And whilst they don't like Hungary, they're certainly not very interested in us. We could overcome about 21 of that, but I don't think it would be enough to get the Ottomans to support us. No, neither do I think the Ottomans would be all that interested, but it is a route to go down. It certainly couldn't hurt to have that extra opinion there. And I would also quite like to be getting some spy network going in them. Very nice of Hungary to be converting lands that will be ours in the future as well. Cheers, Hungary. You're the man. Should have sent an insult before switching, Jake. Uh, I purposely didn't want to kneecap Hungary before I switched out here. I mean, if I was really going for it, I would have deleted their armies, put them into debt, developed these provinces, spent all their monarch points, gotten rid of their manpower, insulted key players, and set them up for an estate's disaster. But that's not how we roll around here. Of course, they do still have their incredible regent general, and that's something to be terribly scared of. <clears throat> Um, Navarre in succession war already. Aragon think they can take on Castile, Navarra, and Portugal. I think they are completely wrong, but hey, that's their war to fight. Some independence from anybody would be really handy, but oddly enough, <clears throat> the Ottomans are the closest one to actually uh, helping us out there. Trust me, we don't like Hungary. Yeah, the Ottomans just uh, crushing everyone around them. When it comes to it, I can recruit an army so that we uh, will be able to overcome some of the negatives there. Right, additionally, I'm going to give the clergy this province as well because I want their points too. They're currently offering us 60. We could do better than that. 75 is what we need. Not the point of seeking their support, though. Not when I could get a bit of influence. That yeah, wouldn't be quite enough, I think. Well, can't go wrong with... Yeah, you'll bring us up to 75, and that's the crucial point there to get 150 admin power out of you. So, a nice thing about being small, you can game the estates pretty well. I still want that uh, 10 influence. Would a boat? Fine, couldn't hurt. We'll take it anyway. We'll be revoking this land later. And sure, the estates will all hate us, but what do we care? They don't own any land. They can just go and do one. Even if they do have a bit of influence over our nation. I 
think it's going to be pretty tough to get around this. Right, England going to war with France. I doubt that will work out particularly well for them. Uh, not with mighty Scotland on their flank. They'll never make it. I'm sure we'll see a Scottish Great Britain. I need to think what to be claiming from Hungary here. I mean, I could ward myself off of Austria here. Start worming my way down, get the good stuff first. Jake, are you becoming a puppet of the Ottoman? The Ottoman fought me fair and square. Hungary just broke every deal and promise that they could. Oh yeah, we'll guarantee your independence. No problem. Oh, well, anyone's attacking you? No, no, no. When we said promise, we didn't mean it. And again, a bit of uh, unrest is not going to frighten us right now. I don't know to what degree recruiting an army is going to offset some of this, but I suspect it won't be much. And again, there's just nobody that's getting that angry with uh, Austria right uh, with Hungary right now. That's going to be difficult for me to get any amount of support for independence. Right, all my states hate me, but they'll turn around soon enough. Just like my legitimacy, that'll turn around. And will, oddly enough, hurt us here, because it's going to bring down our diplomatic reputation. So that could actually be worse than I uh, make it out to be. I don't want to be spending my mill on that, but I may just have to. Yeah, we got all the mill a man could need. <clears throat> so a lot of people have been asking for Nitra. I do wonder why. It might be because they're just a relatively new country. Or it could be that we have a ton of Slovakian nationalists who are keen to see their nation rise to the glory that they were always destined to have. i try saying that with a straight face. So the fact that they hate Hungary and the Hungary army is pathetic is helping us out here. But unless I build a half decent army, I too am going to seem a bit measly here. So a couple of horses and one, two, three, four, five, six infantry should help us out. I don't want to pay for them, no heavens, no. And I'm just watching that inflation go up and up. Jake, ally the autos. That's where Serbia was mistaken. Not seeing an alliance there, but I am potentially seeing some support. Depends how well this goes. I may have to boost my legitimacy soon, which is going to make me wish I'd actually stabbed up instead. And I should probably get this as soon as Renaissance spawns. But I'm hoping that one of my neighbors gets it before me. Hungary probably should so that I get a touch of neighborhood bonus on it. So, Nitran army strength is still a joke compared to the Ottomans, so they're not seeing me as somebody worth uh, helping out here. Man, Hungary is just liked by everyone around him. That said, if the Ottomans start deciding to take down Hungary, which they're not seeing at the moment, then that could be where my advantage lies. Still making money even with an army, so that's good news for me. Alright, regrettable, but I'm nowhere near getting a uh, bit of support out of the Ottomans. Am I close to getting support from anybody, though? Because there's a whole lot of neutrality towards Hungary. And if they ally Austria, then my life just gets even more grim. They actually have no enemies! How many times have you ever been in a game and ended up with no enemies? That's obscene and absurd. Not Venice, not Poland, not Bohemia. Scary. 
probably won't be too long until they start uh, looking to me uh, for integration soon. Well, scary thoughts. Very scary thoughts. Well, let's at least claim Pest as our own and start thinking about where we could be making better friends. I want to keep Poland's opinion uh, above 100 so they don't go hostile towards me. That would be scary. And once they're finished dealing with Teutonic Order, that could be what happens. What did you roll in your lucky die? It was a 1 for I'm number 1. Don't want the clergy to hate me too much, even though things are just getting better there. And a bit of prestige probably go a long way. Richtenu. No, we are not making a uh, marriage here, Hungary. Which are absolutely interesting to me. In fact, why don't I just say that... Uh, best guess? That's pretty good, but also neighbor. Well, yeah, that is neighbors. Go figure. Yeah, everyone is afraid. But Hungary's truces are about to be up, including their one with Bohemia. Uh, I mean, I am glad that they haven't gotten big allies here, but ain't no way I could take them down solo here. And potentially, if I hadn't caned my own fort, but. That would take loans and blood money aplenty. Hmm. Oh well, it is what it is. This changes everything. Well, we got some neighborhood bonus. I would have expected to, for somebody around me to get this, but hey. I'll take it. Not enough to make me seem super buff, but gets us somewhere, right, Auto Buddies? Absolutely not, they say. Mm. I'm not particularly scared of getting even lower stability, but can't really afford to lose that legitimacy right now. Well, I don't have the money to, to lose, so goodbye stability. By legitimacy. Never needed them to begin with. This is so rare. How is this? Uh... Okay, Lithuania don't because they're a subject, but otherwise. People without enemies are just. Oh well! The game has decided it's got to happen, and so it's happening. Plus eight from Diplo Rep. Hmm. Jake, one stability and legitimacy are clearly worth the ten ducats you saved. Uh, well, that's true and all, but I didn't have the money to burn there. I could have, granted, debased. Actually, I wonder how much I would save, if anything, by debasing. 22. I don't know how much it would uh, it would cost for me to be rooting that out, and I'm not about to find out. Um, this is pretty incredible. In a terrible for me kind of way, but still incredible. Because a neutral attitude towards the person that you want independence from is a killer. Slasher of prices. Now why Trebizond or are you just naive? Oh, they're incorruptible. I guess they just really like Trebizond, and why wouldn't they? They know all about the art of painting. That painting, of course. Poland would take an alliance. It's something, Jake. You're on a good way. Aye, but uh, not against Hungary, it seems. That neutrality caning me pretty hard. 
Austria is going to war with good old Burgundy, and why do I get the feeling this is just going to end up like another version of Nevers? Well, not gonna lie. Feeling a little backed in a corner here. They're embargoing Venice, so you think Venice would be uh, a bit miffed by that by now. So I could at least try to reach out for them. Jake, how close are you to getting Diplorep from the Pope? Oh, really far away. I mean, I guess there might be missions every now and then to uh, get some extra Diplorep. I could if I improve relations with Bohemia, which is probably more worth doing than building up claims that I'm not going to get anytime soon. Even that plus one uh, Diplo there wouldn't help us out too much, from what I can tell. <clears throat> And did your opinion with Hungary just uh, improve or something? I need it to get worse. 98% annexation, Jake. Never surrender. Amen to that. Well, I might have to strengthen my government soon enough to get enough uh, legitimacy to get enough everything squeezed out to try and get uh, some support for this independence. Or I just need Hungary to finally get some enemies or be dragged into horrific war. Austria is involved in war, but it doesn't look too horrific to me. Uh, it looks like all on the Burgundians. Now what do we have here? Nobles in somewhere. Have fun, guys. Not my problem. Uh, Hungary? It's, uh, it's not my problem. It's your problem, guys. Hungary goes, nah, I don't really care. Uh, there we go. Get on that. Or is he just gonna sit on the border and do nothing? Because that would, uh... Oh, wow, you're the worst. You're the worst overlord. See, this is why we don't like Hungary. I should have never trusted them. Sitting too smug with their... Uh, with their no enemies, their 444 general. Wow, you really are the worst. I already had to eat the autonomy that I got there. I'm actually going to have to fight these guys myself. I didn't sign up for that. At least I'll be defender in the Highlands. Um, oh boy. Jake, don't pretend that you wouldn't do the same if you were hungry. I wouldn't want my loyal subject to be getting loads of autonomy for no good reason. That would just be daft. Probably when I rush in and destroy them, then Hungary's forces will arrive later and go, ah, did we get him? Bloody hungry. They're the worst. I don't know why they exist. Well, I mean, I better fight them unless Hungary suddenly wants to come and help out. Should probably de siege my capital since being under siege. What does that uh, reduce again? I think it was goods produced. There we go. The economical pain is too much to bear. Alright, if I get flattened here, I'm going to be none too impressed. Alright, strong rolls helping us out there. And it's going to cost some money to get this army of mine back up and running. Those are some in not insignificant losses. Remember, Carmen. That was a long time ago. Can we not live and let live? Getting less and less keen on uh, supporting me here. Venice still utterly disinterested in Hungary. 
It's amazing though, no enemies. Can't get over that. It shouldn't take long until they're all uh, back at the full strength and then I can refuse to pay them again. I can also refuse to have legitimacy. What happened with Caramen? I recently started watching Jake. When I was playing as Nagur, I got to the Ottomans and I just fed it all to Caraman whilst I continued my rampage over in Germany. But Caraman had a bit of problems with that and somewhat exploded. That was Nagur, right? It wasn't uh, Trebizond. No, not Trebizond, uh, the other one. Theodoro. So they continue their rampage, but it's still not going to be enough to get them onto my side, even with this nice and high Diplo reputation that I've got. Same for Bohemia. Won't you spare me? No, nobody likes us. Hmm. So nice to see Jake streaming, even if you're not playing EU these days. Yes, Niria, I'm not playing EU these days. I've given it up for good. I mean, I wouldn't mind that, but getting that much prestige will be tricky for us. Getting the Pope on our side wouldn't be too hard, but that Papal Influence is only... Well, that's like five Papal Influence for it, which is not so hot. But, you know what, why not? We'll take it. There's not a whole lot else happening right now. At least until Hungary starts to integrate us. On that note, I need to take a quick water break, but I will be right back. Alright, I continue to be confused by this because Hungary had enemies at the start. And when you have rivals, there's a cooldown before switching them. Maybe that doesn't apply to the ones you start with since they are pre chosen at the game startup, but. But oh well. I think I demand perfect. No, I don't demand perfection, heavens no. Jake Ally, that skinny, transparent mountain nation on the eastern border of Hungary. Uh, that would be nice, but right now we can never have too much manpower. Alright, they've got rebels. Now is the time to strike. No, oh, no diplomats. What a pity. Come on, Venice. They're even in... Oh, no, that's your enemy. We need you to have some rivals. Come on. It's the least you could do for me, everybody. That's so close. So very close, but the eight there is not enough. I mean, maybe I could send them a decent gift or other things that would boost... Uh... Well, I don't think there's much that I could give them that would interest them. Look, look at how weak Hungary is. Now is the time to strike. Unfortunately, they've already got everything they need there. Neutral with me. My army is pathetic. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Almost enough to get more. If I were to develop up my provinces, I'd be able to have a higher, uh, well, a larger army. That coupled with 
Oh, who am I kidding? I don't have the money for that. Maybe a bug, Jake. Well, possibly. But it's interesting to uh, see it through, isn't it? Well, it is to me. That's all that matters. Once they are finished with their mission to vassalize Wallachia, potentially they'll start turning on the auto scum. The auto scum who are pretty. Uh, scum. Sorry, I'm too busy thinking that Hungary are scum. And I'm not wrong. But I rather think that the Ottomans will come rushing in. Uh, they are allied with Ragusa, shouldn't be too much of a problem. Luca, also not a problem. But that's making the perhaps bold assumption that they're going to start cleaving into Hungary like they did when I played Glorious Serbia. Jake, regarding Serbian glory, you should have known better than to put words Serbian and glory in the same context, let alone same sentence. Let that playthrough be a lesson to you. Bog i vrati. Hmm, well, lessons learnt, I guess. Like I said, I was simply mistaken. It was not Serbian glory, it's Slovakian glory. And we needed to be kicked in the teeth for it to really be driven home that it's the Slovakians who are the greatest culture in all of Western Europe. And uh, it has fallen to their mantle to completely wipe out Hungary from the map. That's what I'm seeing in all of this. Man, everybody fairly loves us, so once we're done with the whole warring and stuff, things should go okay. Should keep good relations with Austria, though. Does EU4's bug catching still rely on Starnan's passion, Jake? If it did, then we'd be in dire straits, I tell you that. So close. If only we had had a silver tongue or some such. Probably get my technologies nice and early before the institution's tech penalty. So it's really kicking me in the face. Might even make us look stronger, right? Auto Ooh! That's really quite close. Our army suddenly looks a lot stronger since we teched up uh, faster than they did. If I had better diplomatic reputation, I think I'd get another plus three. I don't have enough money to give them any kind of gifting, though. Three, but I would still need an additional four on top of that. Oh, no. <laughs> it begins. So we're going to get annexed now. Did not show here, or will it not show until afterwards? That won't take long. Join the Venetian Trade League. That's impossible for so many different reasons. Uh, yeah, actually, why is that not showing here? Annex integrate. Do you have a statesman, Jake? He's already in my employ. Even has a 3% chance to die every year. And I'll probably have to act quick here. Wish I hadn't spent all my military points getting that now. Terrible ruler for uh, Hungary. Wait, did he just immediately die and we got a regent? What was even that about? Jake, go over the force limit before the Ottomans get tech. Well, too late. It would have been too late even if we'd started then. Mm, oh, and they've begun improving relations with France. That's friendly, that's friendly, that is mutual friendly. Hmm. Hmm. What's next, Jake? On the Yevon glory. Uh, hmm. And with Castile. Well, that's two. That's double dose of bad news. Hmm. Yeah, bad news indeed. We'll hold out. We'll find a way. I don't know what way it'll be, but we'll find it. So Poland decided that Muscovy will be their next rival instead of Hungary. The Ottomans, I just really need them to... Okay, they want to conquer Kaffa instead. And they have not been dealing with these guys, so... Hmm... 
Jake, do you think the game... Oh, it's Starnan. Do you think you balance the game based on you dying 95% of the times you play it? Now, just because it keeps happening now, I mean, it's always happening. Oh, this isn't good, though. They'll get that alliance with France, no problem. With mutual friendly, you could probably get it already. And I... Okay, they improve relations 50% faster in very hard mode, which means they lose aggressive expansion 50% faster as well, in addition to not getting any. I mean, Poland is already taking quite a bit, but uh, nobody cares. Not even. Not a sausage, as we say. Neutral, neutral, hostile. Bad times, friend. I mean, I'd fight Hungary, but what they would do is annex me. So that's not on the cards. Just take loans like 100 or 150, then gift to Ottomans, you have nothing to lose. Let's get an idea of the numbers involved there. I can pull back you for no real cost here. If I were to send the Ottomans a gift of 25, it would improve relations by 2. Meaning I would have to send 250 ducats to get anything reasonable here. Uh, which, granted, might bring me up a wee touch. Which means I'd have to debase maximum. No, uh, that wouldn't be enough anyway. And I don't take loans, so that's not an option either. But getting some extra money probably wouldn't go amiss. I know I haven't punched the burgers for Dosh for a while, but uh, still need a bit of extra time. And they're close to getting that, and I don't like that. I'll send them an insult just to keep our relations low enough, whilst I consider my options here. Yeah, my options. My cup runneth. I just can't believe they got no enemies. It's absurd. Thankfully, it looks like France are capped on their diplo relations, so Hungary probably wouldn't be able to get the alliance anytime soon. Yeah, I got that there. A bit of extra dip tech wouldn't be helping me right now. And that isn't so good. I don't think Poland are going to be liking me anytime soon. They just got uh, pretty angry with me. They want my provinces. They just want Zemplin really badly. Hmm. Hmm. Well, come on, Ottomans. Don't you want to fight Hungary? Because now is the perfect time. Well, a more perfect time would be when you support my independence, but I can't get everything. Jake, can't you get over 50% liberty desire somehow? Won't that policy integration? I certainly could if anybody would support my independence, but currently nobody would because Hungary have no enemies. Oh, well, we can let the time plow on a bit more. Uh, well, God, everyone really likes my land. We should keep uh, Bohemia super happy since they're one of the few people that actually don't. Austria getting almost a clean sweep for the, the crown here. I should really spend some time looking into exploits to try and find some to dig my way out of these situations. Because I have played just about all of my exploit cards. I like to have some in reserve for just in cases. But uh, my cup does not runneth over. My cup is looking pretty empty right now. Uh, didn't I want to be getting another general? Uh, we can do that later when the time comes. As the elves in Majesty often say, victory is not on the cards. Do like rogues, use ducats to solve your problems. But uh, they get their ducats. They don't just throw it all away. Placating Poland, improving prestige. Well, Poland will not be placated since they desire our land ever so much. That is so agonizingly close. 
If I hadn't taken the two stab hits, it might be on the cards. But I did, so it ain't. I mean, I could throw 300 points on it straight away and be in with a chance. But I think it would only give me three. I'm pretty sure. Unfortunately, Hungary didn't ally anyone other than Ragusa, and the Ottomans will not attack Ragusa. So that bears me no favours. Hmm. Yeah, Kev, I meant in previous runs. I can improve dev to lengthen the integration process, but there's no need to be doing that right now. Plus, it doesn't feel good because you get 50% extra cost for doing that because you're a vassal nation. Because well, I am a vassal nation. Let's not pin this on you, guys. It's all on me. If I could race my way to Miltech 6 over the Ottomans, hit that at the same time that I do all the other things, then that might be okay. But we're due to be annexed in about seven years, and there goes the Statesman. He was pretty important for the nation, now he's gone. And yeah, losing the Statesman dropped down our dip rep by five. Hmm, that's all I can really say to that. Debase like madman, build an army of Merc, get the Ottoman support. Well, times are not good, friend. Times are not good at all. But it's okay, we're not that far away from getting our first ideas, and with the amount of mill that we'll have banked up, we'll quite happily be able to go for Aristocratic, which will postpone our inevitable annexation. Oh, now there's a nice army. How would you like to fight Hungary right about now? To shreds, you say? Oh, no. Well, here's our chance for 30 legitimacy. Ah, that air sucked. We can get better. You know, I think I ate a legitimacy hit to get that air in the first place. I feel like to roll in glory would be better. How about rolling in glory? Marek. Isn't that a province here? Marek U? I don't like that filling up with green. Not at all. Yeah, princess is long dead. Now we get someone really subpar. I am Sorely tempted to demand perfection on that one. Sorely tempted to demand perfection on that one. I demand perfection. We are just. And a visionary like us can't be having such pathetic people. I gotta spend my points on something. Spend it on getting ducats. Life ain't glorious being Slovakian. At least not yet. Oh, thank goodness the uh, the Austrians have seen the light, and the light is not annexing us. But uh, it kind of makes me think we should placate them. Gets us that nice bit of dip that we've been looking for. Oh, there we go. There we go. I don't know why you're thinking that now. Well, you're hostile towards uh, my mighty foe. So yes, let's get some support going at long last. Now who else hates Hungary? Come on, come one, come all. There must be someone else who hates them. Uh, this will be done after we declare our independence for sure. I'm going to need a spy network going right now. And Bohemia, they're having nothing of the sort. 
All right. I mean, Austria should be plenty to take down Hungary. But I heard a good thing once, and that is more is more. That said, that looks to be all that uh, our friends in Austria have. They must have more, surely. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I think it's time for our friends to die here. Finally, Austria, all we need now is France and the Ottomans, and Jake might be safe. Hey, shut your mouth, Lucky. You know nothing of which you speak. Now, oddly enough, they... They won't give me military access because they hate Hungary, but that's okay. And they can kill those and then get ready to roll. Sure, I mean, Luca and Ragusa will get involved. I wonder if uh, yeah, the Ottomans will probably get involved there as well. They're having none of this. But I am. Don't know why I hit P for pause there. Must be all that stronghold I've been playing. So I can... Probably shouldn't underestimate these two guys, because they can pull out quite a bit. But Austria... Austria's gonna have this, right? Well, 41k versus 30, 40, 50k. Maybe not. But at least that'll prevent our integration for now. Well, until uh, Austria turned their back on that one. I do wonder why they suddenly went hostile towards them. Not complaining, heavens know anything but, but... Well, that helps us out. Just think of all the potential allies if you win this one. No, oh, think about the Virgin Mary. We don't care about reform and desire as long as I can get my points here. So, a diplomat. That's probably why you're uh, trying to get on France's side once again. Probably all the more reason for me to be just a little bit afraid here. Because yeah, if you get that alliance with France, then everything is down the toilet. It also means that uh, Hungary is very likely to be getting, again, hit and pee for pause, too much stronghold. Can't really take the risk of them getting that alliance with, um, with France, so we shall defend our capital at all costs. I got your back, buddy. Okay, now I realize I've had my uh, fingers on the arrows key, arrow keys the whole time, which is very not right. So Bohemia now offered to defend our independence, that's kind of nice of them. And didn't I say I would recover my negative stability? Well, let's make it so. Ah, uh, the numbers look all right. Just so long as they don't get Miltech 5. None of them do. Austria getting it first would be nicer, but hey, it is what it is. And... Yeah, we got 5 mil. Surely we'll are excellent on the battlefield. I'll take it. I don't know if Austria still have their glory ruler. Surely not. 3... Uh, three is pretty good, but I wouldn't mind getting more out of the nobility. I'm happy enough to call a Diet if I could just get that, though. And if you give some garbage land to the nobility, of course I will revoke it later. But I want that general. Because he might be good. He might be great. Going with a historically Catholic route? Don't know yet. Play it by ear. It's the only way to play, really. Now, Austria actually want a lot of land. I should have been clever and lay claim to what I want first. But, hey. We've done what we've done. He's also uh, sieging up uh, before me. 
If I move like this, the uh, Hungarians will probably come and attack me, but this is all part of the plan. What plan, you might reasonably ask? Oh, the plan. Sending little bait units in the hope that uh, they'll buy it. And they kind of did. That got me Sopron, which is what I was looking for. I need to take this before they take their own province and then pull out of there like a scared high schooler. Otherwise, the rest should go over to Glorious Nitra. Austria's going to be unimpressed given how much they're helping out. Uh, and they're on that on the. Varad on the 15th. I can get out of there in time. Means I'll drop the siege, but that's okay. Not that important. We don't even have a claim on it. Maybe he changes his mind when Samoya is dangerous. 